The sound of artillery, mortars and aircraft is a daily reality for the residents of this village. Yatskivka is only two kilometers from where the hostilities are taking place. Most of the time the streets of the village are empty. People come out only when there is no shelling. Once a day, bread is brought to the neighboring village. Locals have to walk four kilometers. The rest of the time they are hiding in basements. It's been almost two months since we showered or slept. Come in there and see. In this village, there are those who managed to get out of Izum, Kharkiv region. They went to their relatives on foot. There are many of us here now and many children, some returned even twice, the ones that left and now they are coming back. They have run out of money, you know. Look, my grandson is coming. They came from Izum. Russians started bombing there and they came here. How far away is Izum from here, do you know? 20 kilometers. Heavy shelling started here on March 10th. Until that day, grocery stores were still open and public transport was running. At first, locals just watched Russian planes flying over the village. Then the enemy aviation started bombing. Until the 10th, the planes were just flying, and then they started bombing us. Not a single house survived. From the outside, it looks as if the walls are okay, but inside it is completely destroyed. Why do we deserve this? In the middle of the night, everything was shelled. Can you imagine? In the middle of the night, windows were blown out. This is horror. There are only a few residential buildings in the village. People left their ruined houses and moved to their neighbors. A large family with many children lived in this house, but later it was destroyed. Everything was ruined. Neighbors from the nearest street took this family and now they live together. As a result of the shelling, there is no communication, gas and electricity supply in the village. The approximate depth of this shell crater is about 7 meters. As far as possible, I will show. And there are dozens of such craters in this village. About 200 pensioners live now in Yatskivka. Only recently have medics been able to come here and only by bicycle. They bring medicines with them. There are people with diabetes. There is a girl with epilepsy. There are also many hypertensive patients with high blood pressure. There are people who have previously had heart attacks. Well, there are enough patients here. And do you come here every day? No, we managed to come here for the first time. Before the full-scale invasion of the Russian army into the territory of Ukraine, 1,500 people lived in this village. There are only 300 people left, including 20 children. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Olena Hramova, UATV News.